welcome everyone today we will complete question number 6 7 8 and 9 let's see how to do question number 6 draw an angle of measure 45 degree and bisect it first you have to draw draw an angle using the protractor 45 degree you have to draw like this first you have to draw a ray mark a point a then take the protractor Keep the protractor on A. Along this line, along AC, the zero line should go through AC. Then look where is 45 and mark it. Mark it and join. Let this point B be join A and B. Now we get this angle as 45 degree. Angle BAC is 45 degree. Now we have to construct the bisector of it. With A as center, take a convenient radius, draw an arc such that it should cut ray AC and ray, a, it's ray AB and ray AC. Now mark these two points. Let it be E and F. Now with E as center, take a radius more than half of EF. Draw an arc here with F as center. Draw another arc. Let this point be G. Now join A and G. Therefore, line segment AG bisects angle BAC bisects means it divides the angle into two equal parts so one angle should be half of 45 degree that is 22 22.5 next question number seven we have to draw an angle 135 degree and and it's bisect so first draw a ray Let it be AB. Take the protractor. Zero line, zero line along AB. 135. So start from the zero. Go like this. Here it is 135. Mark it. Let it be C. Join A and C. Now we are going to construct the bisector of it. With A as center, take a convenient radius and draw an arc. Such that the arc should cut the two rays of A, AB and AC. Let this point the D and this point be E. Now with D as center, take a radius more than half of arc DE more than half of arc D and with D as center draw an arc now with E as center without changing the radius draw another arc mark this point as F join A and F therefore we can write A F bisects angle C A B now let's see how to do question number 8 draw an angle of 70 degree make a copy of it using only a straight edge and compasses let's see how to do this first you have to draw an angle of measure 70 degree you can use the protractor to do that draw a ray take the protractor let it be a b start from zero mark the point on 70 let this point be c join a and c 
so this is 70 degree now you are we are going to make a copy draw a copy of this angle using the using a straight edge and compass so first you have to draw a line mark a point P on it now take A as center take a convenient radius and draw an arc such that the arc should cut ray AC and ray AB now with the same radius without changing the compass radius keep the compass pointer on P and draw an arc on on the line like this you can draw an arc now we can name this intersecting point as D and E let this point be Q now with D as center take the radius till E take this distance you have to take the correct distance from D till E now with that radius keep the compass pointer on Q and draw an arc like this mark this point as R join P and R therefore angle R P Q is the copy of angle C A B like this you can check with your protractor see this is exactly going through 70 like this now let's do question number 9 draw an angle of 40 degree copy it supplementary angle so let's see how to do this in this question we have to copy the supplementary angle not the 40 degree angle so supplementary angle means two angles whose measure add up to 180 degree for example in this figure angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary always supplementary sum of these two angles is 180 degree so angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 to find angle 1 we have to subtract 180 minus 40 degree here our angle is 40 degree so 180 minus 40 is 140 degree so we are going to do the copy of the supplementary angle let's see how to do this here first you have to draw 40 degree angle so draw a ray first mark it as a b take the protractor keep the zero line along ray a b start from the zero and look where is 40 mark a point let it be c join a and c this is 40 degree 40 degree angle now we have to construct the copy of its supplementary angle so first draw a line let the line be EF mark a point M on the line now with A as center draw an arc in the interior of angle CAB like this and mark these intersecting points as P Q now with the same radius 
with M as center, draw an arc on the line. Now let this point be N. Now take the radius of P and Q. We are going to copy 40 P and Q with M as center. Draw an arc. Let it be O. Join M and O. Now, here the supplementary angle is O, M, E. Angle O, M, E. It's, this is the supplementary angle of C, A, B. Is the supplementary angle, supplementary angle of angle C, A, B. You can use your protractor to check. Keep the zero line along the ray M, E and start from zero. You can see the ray M, O is passing through 140 degree, 140 degree. That's it.